very flat. Flat hard surface. Yes. Right there. Right there. Right there. That's how you should just like wave. Get my position. Cool. Yep. Starting right now, you'll have 10 minutes to run, man. Don't let any of these guys. What about that? Probably what I'm going to do is when we start. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's how you do it. Come on. Right, down. <laughs> All right, I got it.
I suck at this, but that's okay. Go, 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 go. places that you can just come and like okay so the career opportunity for like getting into a sniper section is just being able to work in small teams number one and you know, like a lot of these guys when they come into the army they think they're going to do a lot more like high speed stuff than they're really end up doing we can kind of offer that as far as doing what they were kind of expecting to end up doing um, other than that, going to sniper school itself, you know, it's on the infantryman and the scout career tracker as far as like schools that they need or schools that are sought after. It's an extremely rare school in the Army. Um, there's probably only 100 to 150 graduates of sniper school per year, so it's a very small, like, small ratio of people that are like in. It's a very tight knit community. Well, one of the harder parts of becoming a sniper is passing the selection, number one, and just having the criteria to get into the section. Um, after getting into the section, the year's worth of training, you know, can be strenuous. And then after that, the school itself, you know, the school itself is not an easy school. It's not as physically demanding as some other schools, but it is still an extremely high fail rate school. I mean, the fail rate's generally around 60%. So, you know, it's not, like I said, again, it's not physically, as physically demanding as some schools you would imagine, but it is still extremely, you have to prove, like, prove every week, pretty much. There's a test every week that you're gonna have to pass. It's difficult to pass. You have to prove that you have tangible skills every week as far as, um, different events but 
it is an extremely difficult school to pass to actually become sniper qualified. In 234, I've been a sniper for closing in on three years. I've been in sniper section for about two, and I've been a qualified sniper for about a year. So last year, I went and passed sniper school. The reason we put on sniper selection this year, uh, we generally do it about every year and a half, and it's really because we get low on numbers, either people, PCS or ETS, and the only way that we add numbers to the section is through a tryout process. Just that way we can ensure like standards are kept high, and that's kind of what separates us from the normal infantry or normal scout platoon, is the fact that we can keep higher standards through a selection process. Some of the bigger deciding points as far as who is actually gonna get selected is Probably the ruck march, just because it's mentally daunting. They don't know when they're going to stop um, walking because there's so many false endpoints. So it sees who really wants to be there because they're walking so many miles. Um, the second biggest one is probably the personality interviews and the peer evaluations. It's so like we can push these guys really hard, and we did push them really hard. Being selected feels great. It's been one of my dreams since I, before I joined the Army, I wanted to be a sniper. I can't wait for the training to come. I already know it's going to be hard, but I don't care. I'm motivated. And self-motivation is the best motivation that you can have. I worked hard each and every day to make sure that I'm going to get what I want to get out of life.